Hey everybody, it's me, your buddy Dave, the host here at the Dark Stuff channel on YouTube. Thanks a lot for checking out my new video. And in this week's video, we're going to be talking about the new record from Mr. Tommy Stinson. Yeah, that's right. Tommy Stinson is back. The legendary uh, founding member of The Replacements also did long-term stints with Guns N' Roses and Soul Asylum. And he's back with his first uh, album of new music since 2017 when he did the uh, second album with his band Bash and Pop. Now, I went ahead and did a little pre-order action from uh, TommyStinson.com and I got I went and got the Wronger bundle and that's the, al the name of the album is Wronger. I'll cover up my address there. Oops. And uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, well, first off, it comes with a t-shirt. So, let's see how this thing fits. All, the pretty girls walk like this, this, this. all right, there we go. Cowboys in the campfire. There's the t-shirt. Part of the bundle, okay. Now, like I said, this was the first new music from Tommy Stinson since 2017. He's been talking about this particular project. called It's called Tommy Stinson's Cowboys in the Campfire. And it's a collaboration between him and this guy, Chip Roberts, who is his former brother-in-law. And they've been playing together for about 10 years. And in fact, when Tommy did his show back in, I want to say, 2016 at the Hi-Fi House, which is still... One of the most amazing things that I've ever uh, been witness to. There is a video. I'll link to it. Chip was there and they were talking about Cowboys in the Campfire and some of these songs I've been listening to the album uh, but I've listened to it like six or seven times at this point there are a number of these that they were playing in, at least as far as maybe 2016 and then I saw Tommy by himself on tw in 2019 and I think he might have played a couple of these as well okay so also in this bundle I get a, a tote bag here okay that's cool you get a uh, a button, okay, and then you get this little thing. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be for, but store stuff in there. I guess it's sort of like that old SNL skit. You put your weed in there. And then, of course, the album itself, Wronger, from Tommy Stinson, and a cow with Cowboys in the Campfire. Let me crack this puppy open. So here we go. Tommy Stinson, Cowboys in the Campfire. There's Tommy, there's Chip. There's a couple other people who play on the record besides Tommy and Chip. Uh, most notably would be John Doe from X. Uh, they did some of the album at his studio in Austin, Texas, and then it's the rest of them in New York. And let's see, the packaging here on this record is pretty minimal. I mean, I didn't pay for any different color vinyl. I think they just had the one. So it's just a black and your whoops basic label there. Hopefully by now you've uh, seen the video that Will uh, from Vinyl Potato and I did on called After the Replacements. It's volume one and volume two. And that's where we talk a lot about the former replacements guys projects and, and bands that they've done after the band. So longtime fans of uh, Tommy Stinson will note that this stuff on this album is a lot more reminiscent of Tommy's solo stuff as opposed to, say, Bash and Pop or Perfect, which is a little bit more rocking uh, and, and, you know, fast and loud and whatever. Uh, whereas this is a little bit slower, more reflective. The difference, though, between this and, say, a Tommy solo album is the addition of Chip. And Chip adds pedal steel guitar and it gives it 
sometimes kind of a country feel and sometimes kind of a more rockabilly feel when it's a more upbeat song. But the main thing is that it's Tommy Stinson is the writer of these songs, and I just I feel like he does not get enough credit for being the amazing songwriter that he truly is. Okay, well, I won't yammer on too much. Uh, the album is available on the streamers. Uh, that It's been that way for a couple of weeks. That's why I've listened to it like so many times. And now the, uh, the vinyl is out, and I'm sure the CD is out too. He's out on tour, Tommy is, with Cowboys in the Campfire. They just announced a show for Lincoln, Nebraska on uh, July the 9th at some place called Zipline Brewery, which I've never been to, but uh, we'll be making an appearance for that one for sure. Just to close out here, there's other kind of replacements-oriented news. Chris Mars is putting out a new album on July 2nd. As soon as I get a hold of that, which I think is going to be digital only, I'll do uh, a mention of it here. And then uh, the replacements, expanded edition of their 1985 album, Tim, is set to come out this fall. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Take it